Hello people, uh, welcome to my channel and uh, today we are going to uh, implement a small project. So, so in this video I am going to build a Chrome extension so which is going to give me my subscriber count uh, on live. So whenever I click my uh, extension on, on Chrome, right? so it's going to show what is my subscriber count at that point. So it is going to be live. live. So what is the point of creating this extension? Right? So basically I thought of creating this extension because I, I found myself using my phone, the YouTube studio app uh, a lot of time. And I thought uh, anyhow we are going to spend most of the time in a browser, right? So let's create an extension for that so that you can uh, hit the count at a single click. So I'm going to do this, but uh, this can be extended to uh, anything, right? So we can create any can any use case and we can create our extension. So I'm going to show you the final output, right? So this is my extension and uh, I'm going to load that. And whenever I click my extension, so it's going to give me my sub count. Right, so this is uh, basically it has only one task to do that is to give me my life feed, nothing more, nothing less. Right, so this is what we're going to build. And before before we start coding, right, so please subscribe to the channel so that I can see the subscriber count increasing in my extension. Right, so let's start building the project. So, uh, for creating an extension, uh, it is nothing uh, complex. So, if we can build a website. Then we can build it as a Chrome extension. That simple as that. So if you go to Chrome uh, web page, right? So let me just show you. So, so Google has provided a nice documentation for uh, how to create extensions. So you can uh, go through this. I'll link it in the description. You can simply download this uh, sample file and you can just play around with uh, the code, right? So yeah, the, this is what I have uh, done. So I have uh, gone through this documentation and uh, I have found a few things which help me to create my extension. So basically, uh, the path is we have to create our web page. So the web page will hold the entire functionality and we are going to take the same web page and uh, we are going to do some uh, settings and we'll feed it into our Chrome extension. So it is going to render it as an extension. That's basically it. So if we can create a web page, then we can create an extension. Right. So let's uh, start coding. So I'm going to open up my command prompt and change it to desktop. So uh, let's create a view directly. Let's call it as subs count. That's too many C's. Change that. Here. I'm going to use uh, Visual Studio Code to code this. As I have previously said, if you can create a uh, web page, you can create an extension. So we are simply going to create a web page. So for that, I'm going to use. Uh, Basic HTML and CSS vanilla JavaScript. So I'm going to have two files uh, main.css and I also have a JavaScript link to that. So let's uh, start building the body. Let's give it a title as uh, subs count. Right and uh, okay, yeah. And let's simply give a h1 tag. And let's give a dummy data, give it as a 290, right? So, and we'll also give it an ID, an ID of a sub count, like I'm a case, mm -hmm. right? So, let's also simply do a console log to check whether everything is working or not. Hello, and let's link this here. So, we need to do script and source. Something wrong with my script and source, right? So, and the source is going to be main.js, right? Now, if I start the server, uh, I have this live server extension, yeah. So, you can see that uh, it is going to show my dummy data, but uh, we don't need dummy data, we need live data from the YouTube itself, right? So, for that, we are going to use YouTube API. So, YouTube provides us this API, you can find this API in uh, Google Developer APIs. So basically, this is an API provided by Google where 
you can send a http request or you can send a uh, any uh, api call and you are going to return a json so i have created a project so created project and i have enabled one api so the api is called as youtube uh, yeah so this is a youtube data api and version 3 right so enable this api and create a credential for yourself right so i have uh, got my credentials i'm going to use my credentials here and after the video i'm going to delete the credentials so don't try to use my credentials right so let's uh, let's use my our javascript file to make this happen so we are going to so yeah let me show you how the api call is being happening so this is the api that uh, in the api endpoint that google provides so it takes uh, two arguments that is uh, id and key key is going to be our api key and id is going to be a unique id that is uh, related to each youtube channel right so i can show you that so if i open something if i open youtube and if i open any channel right so if i, if I open any channel every channel is linked to for example if i if you open t series right there's something called as it too but uh, let's open some channel so yeah so, yeah. so if i open this channel right so this channel is linked with this id so this is the unique id for each channel so this is what we require so so this is uh, my ud id for my channel so i'm going to use that and let's make this sample call right so if i make a api call so it's going to return me this json and it has a uh, video count of uh, my channel and uh, total videos and so my subscriber count so Right now, our extension uh, focuses on this. So, this is the important thing that we require, right? So, let's just simply code it up. Okay. So, as uh, we already have these things, right? So, let's copy this. Yeah. And since uh, after making a call, so we are going to replace it with this, right? So, I'm going to remove this and I will copy this ID. So that I can push this into that. For that, uh, I'm going to say sub count is equal to document dot get element by ID, and the ID is sub count, right? And uh, let's create a function. So let's, let's call it as get subs. And I'm going to create an arrow function, right? So this is my function. I'm going to call this function here, right? So let's just fill it up. So the only thing that the function has to do is make a fetch request, right? This fetch request will take the URL. So let's uh, pump the URL. So this is the URL and once the request has been done, so once the request has been done, so it is going to take the response, just write it on a new line so that it will be clear. So once the fetch is done, so it is going to take a response and let's also do other function here and it's going to return it, return response dot since it is going to be JSON, we are going to do a JSON. So once we have this, uh, we are going to again take this and we are going to take the data and let's uh, do an implement an arrow function here and it's going to take a sub count and it's going to take dot inner HTML. Okay, looks like there is some error. Okay, so we haven't assigned it to a constant, so yeah. Now it's working. So we are in HTML, and uh, we have to get this data. So from this JSON, so I think this is only one. So yeah. I'm going to paste this. So from the data, so since uh, we are calling it as data from the data, so this is the zeroth element, because uh, array, and from the items we are taking the first object, and from the object we are going to statistics, and from statistics we are going to take subscriber count. So this is going to return 24 here 
right and this 24 is going to be entered this 24 is going to be entered into our html so uh, our h1 tag uh, will have a value of our subscriber count right let's check with this server yeah so we can see that uh, we are having 28 subscribers i can confirm it confirm that so if i go to my channel you should be seeing 285 number here yeah so there is 285 and our website is also performing 285 right so that's basically it so the functionality part is uh, basically done you can say the functionality part is basically done so now the only thing that is left is uh, we have to somehow export this so that uh, it can be uh, seen as an extension in the Chrome. right for that we need to add one file that is called as uh, manifest.json and this is a file that uh, that uh, chrome expects us so if i go to the documentation again you can see uh, the 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 chrome uh, extension is based on this so the emphasis is made on this and this decides how the extension is going to work right so we are going to uh, copy this and do some modifications according to our needs right so the name we are going to call as uh, subscriber count and keep the versions I think as the description my sub count right and uh, coming to the background we don't need any background and yeah and one thing that we need is a brow called as browser action That is basically what uh, we want our files to be happen. So in that there is an attribute called as a default pop-up. So this is where we are going to set our HTML file. So in our case it is main.html. True. That's basically it. Uh, so uh, Chrome will understand that, uh, understand our settings, and it will understand that. So the main.html is a file that he wants to use as a pop-up, right? So if everything goes well, then our file has to be loaded into Chrome. Let's do that. So manage extensions. So I will, I'm going to remove my old extension and make sure you are uh, enable this uh, developer mode and choose load unpacked and go to your uh, location and select that so if you are not seeing any error that means it is successfully uploaded so once give it a reload and so this is your uh, extension and yeah you can see that uh, it is 285 but uh, so you saw there is a uh, changing right so it is changing from 290 to 285 this is because Yeah, now it is not because pre previously uh, by default there was 290, right? So we haven't saved it. So yeah, now it is not doing that. So basically, this is it. This is uh, how you can uh, take your uh, HTML or JS code into an uh, uh, Chrome extension. And one more thing that we can add is uh, we can simply uh, give it a color instead of looking plain white. We can add simply a color. Let's give it a body and let's give do something here, right? Style uh, can give it a background color of uh, I don't know aquamarine. Let's see if uh, this works. Yep. So yep. So basically, this is it, guys. So this is how we can uh, you know create our own extensions uh, and upload it to a Chrome, right? So. I hope uh, you like this video and uh, please uh, if you like the channel if you like the videos on my channel uh, give it a subscribe so that this count can increase and uh, give a like to the video and uh, uh, thanks for watching so i will see you in my next video thank you